they're really not going to give up that inside. And she's going to get the first ride of the final here. Isabella Nichols, recently relegated from the championship tour, wants to get a good roll happening. Go back to back here at the GWM Sydney Surf Pro. A bit stuck behind the takeoff, kind of a bit of a wobbly takeoff as well, just a bit of bump in the face. Couldn't really connect the way she wanted with that. First turn there. Yeah, I have found a special guest, guys, Matt Violas. How are you going? Pretty good. Oh, now, day in Australia. Oh, absolutely, especially when the sun's out. Um, we're watching Erin. She's absolutely killing it right now. Just an event winning crafts for a, a long time got a lot of surfers competing on the challenger series and the championship tour here goes Aaron Brooks on that mayhem getting up into that first section again a, a nice fast hit out of the top but it's not going to be the big number that we've come to expect from her on her opening rides. Yeah, her boards are fitting into the pocket of these waves so well. We're somewhere This wave actually started to double up as it hit this inside section. It had a lot of scoop to it and, yeah, just perfectly fitting. I mean, throughout the week, we've seen so many surfers bauble on turns here, their nose pick. Still got a, a whole lot of time here. Erin puts up a 5-3-3, so wins that opening exchange. But Isabella Nichols up again. Throwing it up into the pocket there. Bring that up on one of the next waves as we see Aaron having a look. Oh, and there could be a section down the line here. Aaron up into the first section, wanting to combo up a couple of moves here. That is such a, a tough section to read, even though it's a smaller wave. Just very difficult to ride out of that. Tried a lip line and she kind of did an in between turn, which made it a little bit trickier for her. So kind of did a snap here and wanted to replicate really that turn she did before but unfortunately not working out on that occasion. We having all the crew, we also had Luana Silva and Sol Aguera, so all girls in the house so, and they, my dog Lulu, just loving the attention. Erin's just hanging on the lounge every day like that's a therapy dog <laughs> and Isabella. Effie, we'll let you get back to coaching but well done and um, yeah you'll probably have a full house next year too. 18 minutes to go here and making a move Isabella Nichols, she's been the busiest surfer in the lineup. Looking to bank a solid score. Better start to this ride. As she gets through her turns, bringing that board right back into the pocket and hits away at the end section. Oh, that would have felt nice. So I think Maddie is actually coaching Isabel at this event, but Erin uh, is just, just her and her dad. Green ball and probably looking in a couple oh, of times. Yeah. <laughs> God, she's paying very close attention to it. This is a better wave for Isabella Nichols uh, here. This was really, really well done. And this is sort of the surfing I want to see from Bella. I feel like she registered, hey, this is a good wave. This is the final. I can't safety this. That first turn was perfectly timed. She really pushed harder there. Harder than what I saw her push in the semi, which is what I want to see. It's the final, you know. And, and he would say he had a hard time pressure. kind of fighting his way back from second yeah. place. But here we go. Good looking wall. And Aaron taps into the first section and again gets that board up there. Third turn's decent as she moves through to the inside, gets a good finish, everything done <laughs> very wow. swiftly. So a, a clean sequence of turns. She just left some in the tank here. I, I think you could see that she kind of, you know, hit these couple of first sections. It was great surfing. It was a really good wave. She needs to finish this here. If she put too much mayo on this first turn here and overcooks it, she falls. This is a total of critical moment in the heat. She needed this score. She needed to manufacture this and make sure that she converts. And she puts something on the board just as strong as just knowing I need to convert. She's going to swing again here on the inside and doesn't have a whole lot of face to work with, but drifts the tail. The, the judges, too, are still having a good think about that first ride for Erin and making some comparisons to what Isabella Nichols did on her 7.5. Tries to shove another turn oh. in there, but doesn't make it. And on the outside, Isabella finds a bit more space to get that vertical approach happening. Unloads a big power turn. It's quality the first turn, but uh, the wave was very small and she didn't get the finish. But this move, <laughs> yeah. that, was, that was strong. And... Uh, Aaron Brooks now has uh, quite a bit of work to do, needing an 8.17 as Nichols takes off again. Strong out of the pocket, really starting to build some confidence and momentum. And she looks staunch as she finishes off that wave, trying to better a 7.5. <laughs> that was a meaty turn, and here we go. Let's have a look at this wave. And you could just tell precision. Oh. She threw the fins out the back there. She's giving it more on these, on these turns. 
I, yeah. She just wants to let her surfing do the talking in this heat. Well, she's going to uh, make some noise right now with that surfing. As she takes oh. to the air, can she stick it? Oh, my God. Is just stroking into an absolute bomb right now. Oh, this might be the wave of the day. Oh. Or it might not be. Smart, right? They won't close out. And now we're in that situation where Erin's trying to turn this with a single ride. Finding some space here on the inside. Isabella Nichols got to be careful giving her opportunities as she takes to the sky. There is a real commitment in each of these moves. The local, the stalwart local, trying to keep the grime off a wave. Aaron Brooks finds some room again, even on the way to this side. This hasn't really... Look, women are getting more and more progressive, but Erin is just a great show right now of, hey, you got to be so careful at what waves you give people because Erin's totally. so progressive. The incredible run of Erin Brooks through the past three Challenger Series events, but Erin's still banking a second-place finish, holding that number one spot on the Challenger Series ratings. It's just been incredible to watch, but congratulations that Isabella. Oh, yeah. It, Bella, to, to back it up, go back to back, it's so hard to do, so impressive, and just completely using that experience and, and being super assertive at the beginning of that heat. I mean, that's for me, that's where it was won at that beginning.